Howdy folks, how are we doing? Just figured I'd take a moment here and show what the flooring turned out in here. Uh, so again here we've got just a, it's a vinyl uh, and then we're transitioning back to carpet in the back but kind of give you a little lay of the land here. There you go. Big change with the flooring in there. Um, yeah. They uh, did, they laid this down as one whole piece down into that hallway. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then, you know, just uh, later on in. Overall, I am pretty darn happy with how it turned out. There's a couple, bubble, a couple little bubbles that keep popping up over here, but uh, the area that I guess I care about the most, there's no bubbles, so that's good. And over there, you know, I'm going to have some cabin entry and stuff here. So most of that you're not going to be seeing anyway. Um, now, let's head on back here to the carpet area. And like I say, overall, very happy with how it turned out. In hindsight, I don't know if I would have necessarily gone with this material for here. I may have actually done a click together but uh you know laminate or something like that but yeah so here we are and here this room turned out really really nice as well got some trim work to do uh some polyurethane to do on the doors still got to do this door uh there's my obviously we got our carpet transition here had them just tuck it and staple and roll it and all that and rather than doing a uh, transition little metal piece there and real like that a lot in this carpet it's a uh, has a really really nice feel to it um, makes me remember how crappy the carpet is in the actual house it makes me want to get rid of that stuff and put some of this in there uh, so I'll kind of give you a shot of the flooring going that way and this stuff, you know, it's got, I mean, it's got a little texture to it, and it's with, along with the wood grain. So, yeah, really nice looking stuff. The, the seam for this is right there. And, you know, they just spliced that in with the rest of it, so I don't think you can even tell. Um, honestly, I can't really tell. But, yeah, it's, this one is the actual seam, not this one. Uh, so that's where that one joins in there. Got the carpet in here. So I'll have to do some baseboard type trim along here. There we go. Starting to hang my, uh, you know, shelving there and coat uh, closet hanging stuff there. And yeah, so flooring complete. And they did a freaking phenomenal job with this carpet. Just could not be any happier with how this stuff is laid down. It's tight everywhere, stretched really well. Um, the installer, he he definitely did a fantastic job with this. So, and uh, if I was gonna, you know, end up doing some of this, the flooring myself once again. I know we kind of mentioned that before, but. Uh, ended up having a company called Neff's Flooring down in uh, Hamilton do this stuff. And uh, they're very competitively priced. Uh, I always like doing work with local businesses. And they uh, came in nearly identical in price as uh, Lowe's did on their quote. But uh, Lowe's was taking their sweet time and getting back to me. And I need to get this stuff on the schedule and done, so I uh, ended up going with Neffs because they, uh, you know, had gotten back to me finally with some stuff, and so we settled on that, got her done, and once again, just real happy with how this turned out. Well, obviously, got to do some trim there and there and all that, but uh, yeah, it's just the carpet. Uh, doesn't show up so well maybe in the camera, but it's kind of a gray a little bit of blue and a little bit of brown in it So it kind of has little mixes of color of little, you know, everything that I've got going on in here So there she is 
Ah, the new carpet feels amazing. Love it. So I guess if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to let me know. And, um, yeah, I would uh, say, though, with as far as carpet, I would, if you guys, anybody's looking at flooring and having somebody do it, I would never attempt to do this stuff by myself. Never. But, uh, I suppose if this is what you want, this at least creates a really good barrier for moisture. And, you know, if you ever want to switch out your flooring in the future, you could uh, put your, uh, you know, click together vinyl stuff right on top of this with very, very minimal or next to no prep work. Um, you know, it's thin, it's not very thick, so that's nice. It doesn't add a lot of height, you know, if you have baseboard wall type clearance issues as well. So that is where we're at. And uh, I guess the next things I'm going to be working on up here are uh, I got to finish the deck, do my trim, cabinets, as I mentioned. So there's still a good, uh, good amount of stuff, odds and ends to do up here. But we'll see how far I get uh, this upcoming weekend on all this stuff and fill you in then. So with that, that is the flooring job. And this i think total out the door flooring cost to me uh with including underlayment i'm right around oh shoot what am i at roughly 37 3600 dollars somewhere right around there with everything i've put into direct flooring related costs so not not too too bad at all and very happy with the local company and i couldn't believe that actually on the the vinyl price they beat out lows on that price by about six hundred dollars for a very equivalent rated uh product and this stuff i believe that i've gotten here is a 20-year residential warranty supposedly so uh, you know, hopefully she holds up a long time and they say as long as you don't have anything that's really heavy like chairs with wheels rolling around on this stuff all day you'll be pretty good and just avoid maybe rolling like heavy stuff um, like you know refrigerators uh, things like that with wheels on there so yeah and hopefully I mean like Let's see, you can see a bubble there, 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 and I mean they push down but then they just come back up and luckily my cabinets will hide all that for the most part except for maybe one or two of these so I might just, I don't know, put a staple in. They already came back out once without even any questions asked and put some more glue under a big one that was there but now where that one was is gone but now the, the bubble just moved out to the sides of where that other one was. So you know i guess it's what you got to worry about with this stuff and when you put it down in such a big sheet that's probably maybe i'd guess some of the issues with the that um those bubbles but once again i'm happy with it i think that uh should hold up well and i think it gives a nice look to it um with once again the ability to easily go right over the top of it with many other types of flooring if you ever wanted to. Um, take it easy and I will catch up with you guys next week.